this is Praxis, and I've spent the entire day just in this area right here. The reason for that is because I want to free up these platforms that are right below you right now. They're made with a bunch of uh, two by fours, eight feet long. Uh, there's a couple of pieces of plywood holding them together. And these uh, pieces here are the decking for the scaffold outside. And I'd like to get these outside so I can start doing the outside sheathing on the house. Uh, but they're here and I figured instead of moving them all the way out and then moving them all the way back up, why not finish up what I have to do up here using these so that once they leave, they're gone for good. So that's what I've been doing today. Uh, this corner over here, you see there's a large open area behind you. This platform here used to be over there and what I was doing was I was sanding. Uh, well, first I started by uh, doing wall boards. Remember, got the rough inspection. We can start doing the wall boards. I had two boards up here and I went all the way up to the top here. I uh, got it all sheathed up. Uh, did a sanding run over it and then, you know, it's a little hard to see in the failing light, but I did a uh, wood seal. There's a seal over everything. Uh, that'll do two things. One, it kind of makes it look shiny and that looks nice. Uh, but the other thing is when you're cleaning, if you're dusting, if you have like a long extended dust uh, duster or something like that, you can kind of float over the surface and it's not going to get snagged on the wood. The last house I did, I never really sealed the wood and whenever I was dusting, it was always duster was snagging on things. So I decided I wanted to seal the wood on this one. Uh, so I got that whole area done in terms of seal. And once I was completely finished with everything I needed to do there, I took the platform, moved it over here, and then kind of started working in this area, getting the electrical box set, finishing up this. And uh, I'm going to leave the platform here because before I uh, to have these platforms depart from here. There is one other job that needs to be done from this location and I really wanted to have it fully safe and secure to walk on this area and that is the wood stove stove pipe goes right up through here. Uh, as you can see here I can take a ladder, place a ladder down there really safely and work up here to get the uh, pass through for the stove pipe done. Once that's done and it's, uh, you know, the, the box is installed, then we can start, uh, well, we can remove these pieces and start installing the screw-in stove pipe that goes all the way down. But in terms of cutting the hole there and getting uh, the box support system and everything installed, I wanted to have these platforms here. So it's been kind of nice that I've been in one location today and it's had a lot, it's seen a lot of development. And one interesting thing is that that corner over there where I said I sealed the wood, it's done. That's like the one part of the house that's, Finished. There's nothing else to do on there. I guess the surface of the windows is uh, technically done, but even they need trim. It's kind of nice to look over there and it's like, that's, that's finished. That one little corner over there is finished. Uh, this board here is going to be the last one that goes up over there. Uh, there's going to be like kind of a, a piece that, uh, I don't know, like a cap piece that goes on top of that. Uh, but that's it. Otherwise, I mean, it's really satisfying being in one place and seeing all this progress. This whole wall was open this morning. Wires were open. And uh, it's nice seeing it all finished at the end of the day. That's it. Thanks for watching.